isinya adalah sekitar bagaimana karya seni kontemporer di era sekarang ini bisa menyeberang lintas batas dan para seniman tidak lagi gitu, dikungkung, dipayungi oleh hanya satu dua identitas tetapi identitas yang dimaksud di sini adalah identitas universal dan mereka datang ke sini berbagi sharing dengan kami bagaimana caranya mengungkapkan satu ide-ide yang memang di kacamata kontemporer tetapi mengambil sana sini dari etnis budaya kesenian yang ada di sekitar kita latar belakang India tetapi bereksplorasi di luar India nah itu menarik itu ya, eksplorasinya di luar pakar dari akar budayanya tetapi terus mengembangkan memperkaya karakter budaya yang dulu ada My name is Rekha Menon and I'm from Malaysia. I live in Kuala Lumpur. I've been a, a fairly new full-time artist, uh, but I've been doing art all my life. Um, I am part of this contemporary um, collective called Art Voice. It's a collective that actually gives platform to Indian artists in Malaysia. And so we work with many other artists, but the platform itself is for Indian artists. And uh, so, um, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank um, my, my mentor and also the founder of this collective, Stephen Menon, who actually arranged with Putu Bonos, and Putu Bonos arranged with Bakarja, <laughs> and somehow I'm here, and, and it all worked out, which was yeah. great, you know? So I think there must have been a reason why I'm here, <laughs> and I can kind of understand it too. Um, so this whole body of work um, came about during the pandemic. As you all know, pandemic was very rough for all of us, every one of us, and uh, at different levels. And I realized that we have always been denying ourselves, you know, uh, how connected we are. I mean, two things that normally in this world separates us is sad to say religion and also countries, you know, so you are Malaysian, you are Indonesian, you know, so we're all separated to work through words. So during the pandemic, people realized that we're going through the same emotions, we're going through the same sadness, um, the same uh, feeling of being lost, isolation, and how, what do we do? So there's one group that come out to be more aware. They wake up and they say, oh my God, I have to change. When things get better, I must do things that will make not just me better, my family better, but everybody else. That means you're thinking about the collective and not individual. So um, this whole body of work is my process that I went through in the past two and a half years. So it starts off with contemplation. It, this is where um, you actually have... Um, when you're actually lost and you don't know what to do, you're frustrated, you don't, you don't understand why you're going through a certain feeling. Kenapa kita takut, kenapa kita sedih, you know? So you're going through that period. Then after that, once you're aware of it, okay, saya perlu tukar ini, I have to change this about my attitude. Then you go into the second phase, which is reckoning. So the first one is a dragon, you're fighting your inner dragons. The second one is your higher self. And your higher self is someone that is more, it's actually you with wisdom, but you're not connected. As you can see, they're both looking away from each other. So we have to make sure that we face each other and learn from our higher self, which is the God part, which is connected to whatever you may call it, God, source, Tuhan. Yeah? And then the third part is social conditioning. What society tells you, tak boleh buat ini, tak boleh pakai itu, tak boleh tidur sini. Uh, Kita punya society tells us that. But you must use your brains and see what is logical and what is not. Because a lot of social conditioning is man-made. Dibuat oleh manusia. Ini syarat-syarat. Okay? Then after you have solved that, you go into the stage where you flow. You understand how you, who you are, what you're supposed to do, and how to um, use your gifts uh, your gifts are very unique to every one of you. Every one of you here has a gift that you can share to the world and yourself. Maybe you don't know it yet, but that's what you need to find out. 
<clears throat> and then after that, you go into your heart space. So basically, if you see, this is actually part of your chakras. So the pink one is the, the beginning part of your chakra, which is the pink color. Yeah? jambu itu yela chakra hati. And um, di sini saya nak beritahu yang jangan lupa kita punya culture. Don't forget your culture. Your culture gives you your sense of identity. Yeah, don't forget. Yes, modernization is important, but do not forget your culture. Something I went through myself, and I'm re-embracing a lot of my culture as well right now. And then the second part is inner child. Jangan lupa satu ketika kita semua kanak-kanak. Yeah, that's once in our life. We all were kids, and kanak-kanak itu tidak pergi ke mana-mana. They masih dalam hati kita. So kadang-kadang, sometimes we have to don't be too much of an adult. Have a have a free spirit to be creative. And I'm not just saying about drawing. Any form of creativity is touching your inner child. And then the last part is to embrace yourself. So that person is so at peace with itself that you can see flowers coming out from the body. So this person is what he's trying to tell you is. Be at peace with yourself. There's nothing that you need to change unless it's just bad habits. That's about it. But your physicality, your heart, all that you don't need to change. You know, just be you. And then, yang akhir sekali, ialah juga chakra untuk hati. Green color is also to do with your heart chakra. And this is when you embrace the world. Yang kita ini satu, bukan... But uh, Ramai, kita actually one person that's connected to everybody. Uh, bila you dah tahu dan rasa itu, apa jua yang you buat, you akan, think, akan fikir tentang semua orang bukan just yourself. So you always have everybody in mind when you do anything. How you speak, how you act. So you always have the whole collective in your heart. So that is the journey that I'm sharing. And this fella here, <laughs> has no gender, that's why I didn't put the hair and everything. Telling you that you must always be in your heart space in whatever you do. Yeah. It might you might think it's very woo-woo or whatever it is, but it's not. <laughs> it actually helps when to make decision. Jangan terlalu di atas kepala saja. Mesti kepala dengan jantung kena, hati kena bergabung. Yeah. So dia nak peluk semua orang. So that's how I did it. Yeah. So thank you for listening. Yeah, thank you for listening. And, uh, bless you all, and I hope you all find your own journeys in this life. Yeah, whatever it is. Thank you. Thank, thank you. 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 Di luar. Setelah itu akan dilanjutkan dengan diskusi tentang buku uh, di luar sana. You know, after this, we simulate this word, and then after that, we take a short break, get something to drink or whatever out here, and then we will go to the next group. We will have a group discussion. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.